Melissa Baran, and I'm one of UFC's co-barrio chairs, and I would love to be your next vice president. Um, I'm honored to have been able to help plan our legacy event alongside Kaylin, and throughout that process, I was able to connect with both the current officer board and the general members. Because Barrio took a lot of my time due to planning and logistics, I wasn't able to meet all of you and get to know you individually. Creating these relationships with you all is very important to me because you all are like a second family. Although I could accomplish that as a general member, through VP, I want to listen to what you want out of this club. UFC is a community and it would be nothing without you guys. I want to be a voice for you to the rest of the officer board so UFC can be what you want it to be and reach its fullest potential as a club. And of course, I want to be able to support each and every one of you in UFC as best as I can and create a space in which we can support each other. Thank you. My name is Caitlin, and, I'll, and I am one of your past Barrio co-chairs, and I'm honored to be one of your vice president candidates for the next school year. This past year has been one of the biggest leadership roles within USC through being one of the leaders for Barrio. I've received so much support this year from you all, and I love getting to know everyone, especially those in my dances, and I, can't, and I cannot thank this community enough. Now I'd like to give back to the club and show my support for next year's members and board through the vice president position. As said earlier, my role this year was to co-plan Barrio alongside Elisa, and I believe my actions and efforts as a co-chair have proven my dedication for this club and shown how much love and appreciation I have for you all. As vice president, I would have the opportunity to support the upcoming board as well as the new and returning members by being, a by being a liaison from the club and the board. This can ensure the board's awareness of what the rest of the club would like to see, and so that way these ideas can become real events for USC to host. I've been so thankful for this past year again, and I'd love to continue serving our Cup Amelia as your VP. Thank you. First off, y'all did so good. Um, so you guys mentioned in your speeches that VP carries a big supportive role to the officer board and the club. What ways have you shown support in previous leadership roles and in general? I would say the basic example for that is Mario. Um, I was able to collaborate with all the committee members and with Kaylin to put on the Mario that you saw this year. Um, but support wise, I know that everyone is going through the same stress that I am. So it's good to keep that in mind as well as connect with each, like, each person involved in that process. Um, stress can get to you sometimes. Um, and it may seem like you don't have anyone to back you up. So I like, tried to, or I tried to be one of those people there to be like, hey, do you need help with this? Um, do you want me to take some of the stress off of you? Because I'm in that same situation, and I don't want you to be buried in as much stress as I was. Um, yeah, again, the main role of VP is to just be a supportive beacon for everyone. And something we do in officer meetings is that each officer will say their updates and things they have to do. So if during a meeting I were to notice that um, particular officers had a lot more on their plate than I would, I would reach out and ask them if they would need any help. Um, especially because sometimes it can be scared to ask for help, especially in the beginning of the year. Um, but um, just being the person to step up first and show them that they have support and that there is someone there for them. Um, that way we can grow our community as a board and then a strong board has a strong club. individual people we all have like different ideas different beliefs that we have and um, I think taking into account everyone's opinions when it comes to making decisions is very important because then again it will lead to less conflict I would say. Um, and then I guess being that person in the middle to help mediate with that conflict is very helpful because um, well I would try to stay out of that conflict first of all um, and then be that little um, middle person or gray area for people to um, talk about how they feel and what their opinions are to share with the other person or the other group. So we can have the entire story and hopefully come to an agreement in the end. Can you actually have a question? Okay. Have you had a conflict and what experience have you gained from being on board in the past and tell a time you've had to hold someone again? 
experience have you gained from being on board in the past? And tell a time you had to hold someone accountable. Mm. Well, uh, my first year, I had the opportunity to take the role as cultural chair. Um, and so having those that last year and then this year on board was very helpful for my leadership skills and communication skills. Um, meeting new people definitely helped grow my connections. Um, and I can I know I can turn to different people for certain things, um, such as like if I want to help promote something, I can turn to uh, does people who like to design things or my or the current PR, um, or I can turn to. Um, my fundraising or to fundraising or treasure if I need help for raising money for certain things. Uh, but most of all, it is definitely leadership and creating connections. But with that last part, keeping someone accountable. Again, my first thought is to Mario. Um, having to manage 10 plus different committees was definitely hard. But um, keeping that or keeping that line of communication open. Um, well, I don't want to, well, not calling anyone out specifically, but if some people were lacking in their jobs, I would just be, have, be that little person to nudge them to in the right direction or to go back on track. I think just being present is very important, again, since VP's primary role is support. Um, just being a presence within both UFC and the board um, would show people that you're there and that you're present, you're open to, um, you're an open person that someone can always come and talk to if they ever have anything they need to talk about and discuss with you, um, whether it be um, UFC related or um, not UFC related. So just being that kind of person um, would be able, like, you would promote a, like, person that people would feel comfortable talking to. And I think that's really important when dealing with conflict. Um, and then, <laughs> what experience have you gained from being on board in the past? And tell a time when you had to hold someone account. Um, sorry, I'm so sorry. That's okay. What experience have you gained from being on board in the past? Um, for board, again, I was born chair this past year. So it was one of the biggest roles, so being able, again, to um, manage my side of the committees as well as the biggest thing for me, I think, was Barrio Day. The way me and Elisa split it was I was in the ballroom, Elisa was in the kitchen. Um, so being able to do those last minute changes and finalizing touches with tech and with Dex, um, it was really just like finishing everything and going over in my head, did I do everything, have we finished everything, and getting ready for the day of. So that really, um, like showed me that I'm capable of a lot of things, and sometimes more than I think of, sometimes I feel like I do underestimate, underestimate myself, but I'm always able to show up and um, complete what I need to. And then for... Like, tell the time when you had to hold someone Um I choreographed three dances this year, so it was, um, I had to keep a lot of track of everyone that was in each separate dance and the progress of each dance for rehearsals and barrio day. Um, but there was certain times, if people weren't coming to practices, it'd be really hard because then the rest of the group could fall behind. So some things I would just do were just send emails every week to all my dances just to make sure people knew their practice times and also the night before. And if I noticed that anyone in particular wasn't showing up to practices, I'd always reach out and ask what if anything was happening, what was wrong, if there was a reason, just to um, not necessarily like come off strong and make accusations, but just so that way they knew that there was still something going on um, and just so I could be aware of it and take anything into account and then see what their needs were and how I could help them, how I could help uh, meet them.